This video will demonstrate how to load the map on a Garmin GPS using Windows. You will need to download and install California Trail Map and Garmin Map Install for Windows. Garmin Basecamp is optional but highly recommended. It's a free app that allows you to view the map on your computer. All these installations are automated without any complex decisions. To install the map on your GPS, plug it into your computer via USB cable, then start Map Install. The screens displayed by Map Install will depend on your GPS model and the available memory. I will walk you through an overview of the functionality provided by each screen. Your GPS should be selected when you enter the device settings screen. If your GPS isn't displayed, make sure that it is connected to your computer, then click Find Device. If you have a newer GPS and it has enough memory to fit all the maps from your computer, then they will all be installed by default after clicking the Continue button. The Customize button will be displayed to limit the installation to individual maps or regions. If you're installing an update, you'll want to use the Customize button to first uninstall the existing map. If you don't have enough memory to install all of the maps or your GPS is an older unit, the Customize button won't exist and you will be taken to one of the following screens when you click Continue. This screen allows maps to be installed in their entirety by selecting checkboxes. Some GPS receivers will not display this screen. If an older version of the map is already installed in your GPS, this screen will allow you to remove it before you install the new version. The Advanced Partial Install button allows regions of the map to be installed so that less memory will be used. For many GPS receivers, this will be the only map selection screen displayed when stepping through the installation. The regions to be installed are selected by using the left click button. Use the right click button if you need to deselect a region. The drop down box at the bottom of the screen is used to change the active map and it has an odd behavior. When you select a portion of the map, the drop down will change the map without updating the display. When this happens, you need to reselect the map to refresh the display. As you can see, it changed over to the top of the map, but the top of the map isn't displayed. So I'm going to open it up, I'll reselect it, and then it'll be displayed. So now I'll select all the top of the map and then go to the transparent map. The transparent map only contains dirt roads, trails, and POIs. It doesn't contain paved roads or a background so that it can be displayed on top of a pre-installed street map or an aftermarket topo map. Routing is not supported by the trail map. If your GPS currently provides routing, the transparent map can be used on top of your existing map to retain the routing feature. Clicking the continue button will load the map onto your GPS. When the installation is complete, Disconnect your GPS and enable the map. I will now demonstrate how to enable the map on a Dakota handheld receiver. First select Setup, then select Map, select Map Information, enable the map that you'd like to use. All other maps should be disabled unless you're using the transparent map. Note that there may be arrows to scroll up and down. I will now demonstrate how to enable the map on a Nuvi. First select Settings, then select Map, select Info from the bottom of the screen, enable the map that you'd like to use. All other maps should be disabled unless you're using the transparent map. Note that there may be arrows to scroll up and down on the screen.